lucky for my fingers A lucky bed to sleep A lucky thoughts that linger A lucky as I leave Sometimes I turn my mind the days Before we broke in two but I'm lucky, so lucky for the times I spent with you. Now some would call it destiny. You know, we can't control our fate. Oh, but me, I don't believe that stuff. That way Sometimes I turn my mind the days Before we broke in two But I'm lucky So lucky For the times I spent What more could I ask for? What more could I do? What more could I ask for? I want so much to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Woohoo. Well, I'm lucky I'm still dreaming Lucky to have cried Even lucky for the bad luck Just lucky to have tried Sometimes I turn my mind to date Before we broke into I'm lucky, so lucky for the times I spent with you. For the times I spent with you. You know I'm lucky, lucky, lucky. We're all so lucky, lucky, lucky. Yeah, we're so lucky, lucky, lucky. Cold wind coming in 
What I was drawn in, even at that time, was just this light, warm nature of the music. Yeah. Some of the songs hit the mark, some of the songs don't. But overall, there's almost a sense of him being kind of tired. Yeah. And that's what I thought was interesting, that opening song, you know, all, you know, all the tired horses in right. the sun, how are you going to get any riding done? But it could be, how am I supposed to get any riding Right, right. I mean, you could say, you know, because then it's like, that's that's the way you can take it too. Yeah. Um, because it's like, he's like I said earlier, he's not writing many originals at this point, but it's kind of coming to the end of probably the most fertile period of his career, starting with the basement tapes up to now. He had written hundreds of songs. Yeah. Uh, you know, some of them were throwaways. For this alone, he wrote like 40 songs. I mean, so it's like, I think by this point, like you said, he's exhausted. Yeah. Um, it is a call. It is three years after his accident, yeah. which we've spoken of before. Um, but yeah, I think he's just exhausted. Yeah, it sounds and he sounds it exhausted. Sounds he's just like, you know what? Little, I'm just going to do this and we're done. I'm tired. <laughs> yeah. But I, I kind of like the sound because it's I'm, almost like lazy. It's like, it's lazy. Hey, I know, you know, go on like Rolling Stone. All right. See you later. <laughs> like, yeah, bye. <laughs> Christopher Rick's book, uh -huh. Dylan book, where he talks about this. Seven Deadly Sins, or he oh, talks about yeah. that. Visions of Sin. Yeah, he, right. he, he talks about this as being, you know, an act of laziness. <laughs> so <laughs> this would be Sloth? Yeah, Sloth. So okay. he's got he's got Sloth down. Like a lot of it, like when I was listening to it the other night, I was just kind of laughing at oh, yeah. some of it, because oh. some of it's funny. Like it's, yeah. um, I, I'm sure he wasn't going for the humor, but that's how it kind of turns out on some of this stuff. I like Wigwam. Yeah, for some reason. And again, yeah. the, it, it, it's just his, he, it's an instrumental, where he's just la 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 mm -hmm. la, he's just singing into it. Now, could you do, could you make lyrics for that? Yeah. Or could you do something with it? Well, you could, but if you were kind of being uh, lazy. Yeah. Or, or you were just saying, this just sounds good to me. Right. Uh, then you get that song. And it's one of my favorite, it gets it's, used it's all in, the um, time. It's in Royal Tenenbaums. Oh, absolutely. I, mean, I just saw There's a day. scene where, where Gene Hackman's leaving the family for the last time yeah. and they're playing it. And it's it just, works very well. I had never heard that before. And I'm like, oh, that's Dylan. That's, yeah. And then um, the movie Blow um, with Johnny Depp is all the tired horses are in that. It's yeah. in that movie. Yeah. So like a, getting back to my, a lot of this stuff is very like cinematic. Because yeah. he was into movies. Like, you know, Dylan was, uh, he loved cinema at the time. Before this, he was piecing together like that 66 tour and to um, eat the document and yeah. making it like a different. And then he would do that later on. But so a lot of it, you know, with the strings and everything, I think that's kind of another thing that might have put people off is like you take it to this whole other level mm -hmm. um, when you put strings and backup singers in anything. I think. Yeah. Well, and that's always, what people weren't ready for that. Or, well, they would just always refer it 
with the stain is uh, they're sweetening this sound and mm -hmm. uh, it was always a challenge with country schmaltz. music and you know, with the schmaltz and, the, and sometimes it works really great and, and yeah. some of the things that make a song it's wonderful context. But, but sometimes and, and in this album there's just even in all the tire horses you know if you just started messing with this album and and treat it like mm -hmm. you're suggesting that you're going into this film mm -hmm. you're going into this film of the different dylans to come right and this is the soundtrack of the different dylans to come those strings almost kind of announce different parts you know so then maybe the alignment of what the uh you know the the album order the song order mm -hmm. maybe then it starts to take on something different right when you're treating this way and you know we don't do this with every artist you just say there's too many songs on the album yeah. or, but with dylan he, you know he has so much quality he brings to it that this seemed like such a left turn and people thought this is you know dylan's doom you know he'll you know how are you going to recover that he did just fine
another album. They're all good. Shut up. Give me a break. I remember 30% of the lyrics this time. It's okay. 50% increase. That's like 70% off. <laughs> it is off. Going home. I know all the words in this one. No. The man's never drank water in his life. Now he's going to start. What is soul? What was it about Aretha's voice that was bigger, wider, and more full of life than any other? Wasn't the songs, though great they were, not just the band or producer or label, though she fronted stellar support. For sure, some of it was from her piano playing early on. Franklin's essence was in her power to transform feelings. Think of it, all the joy and pain and pride and vulnerability, the deepest love and a weariness for the world gathering like clouds and rising from a verse, a turn of phrase or a note. Sometimes a mashup of feelings rolled into one beautiful shout. That was her gift. The ability to sing an emotion so clear, so direct, so right, it touched a listener's heart and found a way into their soul. That is soul singing. Today, I say a little prayer and thank Aretha from the depths of my soul. Eternity 